This is the final stretch. It is Saturday, October 14th, 2017. Um, what's up guys, Murder of Birds here, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to the final character short reaction for Ruby Volume 5 with Yang Xiaolong. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this character short ever since the Blake character short came out, and this is the final home stretch before the premiere of Ruby Volume 5, which is also today. So we got the Yang character short today, we got the first chapter of Volume 5, Welcome to Haven, which is 23 minutes long, and that's I'm, I'm going to get into that immediately after I watch this short. And then we also have a new series called Kruby Behind the Scenes, which is kind of like a documented step-by-step um, -step process of how each episode is made by the Kruby and the people that work on the show, so... I am just really, really excited. This is, like I said, the final home stretch. This is a four minute video. It is the Yang character short, which is going to take aspects of what all of these shorts have been kind of informing us on, which is kind of a backstory on the characters. Um, you know, during the transition between volumes four and volume five, we have a backstory on uh, on Blake. We had a black, well, technically we had a backstory to some extent on Blake, but it was more focused on the dynamic of her and Ilya. We had a backstory on Weiss and kind of the struggle that she was going to to get stronger to leave home. And I have seen the thumbnail for this episode i'm sorry for this character short rather it's about four minutes also and it showed yang in her volume one attire and you could also tell it's a flashback because she still has her right arm but um i don't know in terms of substance how what this trailer what this character short is going to entail because the only thing that I can think of in terms of significance for, for Yang's past is her mother. But the only aspects that we've ever gotten of her kind of, you know, kind of, you know, seeking out her mother in the past was, you know, when she was looking for her mom for the picture that she gave Junior during her, uh, during the yellow trailer. And when she was like a little child, you know, looking for her mother in the forest where she almost got killed. But I am so freaking stoked. This is like, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what, what aspect of her past this is going to cover, but ultimately I feel like it's going to feel like a tech demo of showing off the Maya engine and showing off, you know, any choreography or anything like that, that they have to share before we get into volume five, chapter one, which is going to be freaking crazy 14 episodes so like i said i'm going to be getting into so many different aspects of content this year i'm going to be doing reactions reviews live stream discussions um tldr reviews are going to be my new format and everything else in between i'm going to be starting those this week so i hope you guys look forward to that but ultimately uh without further ado i just want to say thank you guys all for your continued support of you know volume three volume four the progression and you know the progress in between volume four and five with stuff that i've been doing and for everyone who's returning now uh, to get more excited for Ruby Volume 5 with my videos. So thank you guys so much. Leave your thoughts in the comments and without further ado, let us begin. All right, guys, we are ready. We are prepped. We're going to get into this. Uh, the Ruby Volume 5 Yang character short. It is four minutes and 20 seconds. Wow, 420 blaze. It's four minutes, 20 seconds long. So leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your support. And without further ado, we're going to be starting in three, two, one, now. Oh, she's on her motorcycle. So she might be thinking about this. Oh! Oh! All of the characters are in their volume one attire in the, in the Maya engine. You totally could have dodged that. Yang, I already told you, I'm just not cut out for hand to hand. Yeah, I can't she really use isn't. My beautiful crescent rose. That's exactly oh my why God! I wouldn't let you bring it. Where are they? When is I'm this? I'm leaving for Beacon soon. <gasps> this is before she I left. I want to make sure my little sis could hold her own while I'm gone. Oh. oh. Fine. Is she really sparring with her sister? No! Oh my God, Ruby! Oh my God! Get her! Oh man, that's. <laughs> nice oh one, my sis. gosh. You're not always going to be able to run away from your problems, though. Uh, Sometimes you just have to stand your ground and fight, no matter yep. what. You gotta take your own advice. Right. Enough rest. Get back out here. <gasps> no way. Is there a Grim here? Ruby? How is there a Grim here? Is she in Patch? <gasps> oh my god! Is that an Ursa? <laughs> Dude, they revamped the Grim, the, the Ursa! Where did Ruby go? 
Oh my god, new music by Casey. <laughs> oh my gosh! That grip looks so sick! Come on, Yang, you got this! One on one? This is like when she's first, like, she's new to all of this. Oh! <laughs> Dude, this fight scene is so cool! Oh! Oh, what the heck? Why? Oh, no. You don't have Crescent Rose! Oh. oh! Oh, her fear! It's gonna sense you! Oh my god, that design looks so sick! These Grim are so much better! Semblance, 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 semblance! Semblance, yeah! Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me! <laughs> Where's Tai Yang? Ooh. Oh my god, this is so crazy! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! That's why Ruby needs it's to become okay. more multifaceted. Like, if, without her weapon, she really is useless. I've always got your back, sis. <laughs> That's- I really hope she goes to her sister! I've always got your back, sis. Oh my god, she looks so freaking cool. Oh, and that's it! Is this another gang song? Oh my god, that was so good! <laughs> and then I have the whole freaking chapter one to watch after this! Oh my god! That was like, I was really scared of that because it's like, that was when they were at their most youngest, their most naive, their most vulnerable, their most inexperienced, besides the fact if, 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 you know, if Yang ever went to Signal Academy, like, she actually knows a thing or two, but Ruby especially, A, she doesn't have Crescent Rose, so I was wondering, like, where are they? Because if they were on Patch, that'd be really odd, because Patch has always been described as this peaceful place to raise a family, so I would, I would assume grim, grim attacks wouldn't occur there, but it, it, it seems like... That was in a remote place because it seems like Ruby left Crescent Rose somewhere. Maybe she left it at home. Maybe she left it at school. And I guess more than anything, Yang was like sparring with Ruby before she leaves, but also kind of trying to give Ruby a little bit of experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because Ruby, like we we saw in Volume Three, like without her Crescent, without Crescent Rose, and also in Volume Two, when you know when she fell into Mountain, you know the Mountain Glen Cavern, she was trying to like one off that guy with like just her fist, and it didn't work. And then again, when she came across Mercury, she didn't have her scythe to defend herself. So I really feel like Ruby needs to develop more as just an overall fighter like without crescent rose like who are you as a huntress like you can't defend yourself without your weapon you know what i mean you're pretty much her her fighting style all kind of revolves around crescent rose and without that it's like she she just lowers her it just lowers her like her her skill level basically oh my god so we got all four of the characters have gotten their volume one attire revamped for the in the Maya engine, we have Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. All of their Volume One attire have been featured in these character shorts, which has been incredible. I didn't think we'd get Ruby's because Ruby had her character short in Volume One. So I'm sorry, in Volume Four, her character short was technically the Volume Four character short, and I'm 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 really excited now because 
like the Grim have always been like a favorite, my favorite part of, of Ruby, like getting new Grim, seeing old Grim, seeing how they've evolved and how they've changed and how they, you know, how they adapt to fighting humanity and stuff like that. But I wasn't expecting to see a revamped Ursa Grim because the only Grim that we saw in volume four that were an old model revamped were, were the Beowulves. And then obviously we saw new, new Grim, like the Beringal, the Seer Grim, the Grim, like the Dragon Serpent Grim, and then the Nuklevi Grim. So now I'm like, my mom mind's racing because that ursa grim is what it should have looked like from the get-go like the, the 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 old ursa like volume one through three ursa are like fodder by comparison like they don't look as menacing as scary as as just fierce and ferocious so now i'm just thinking in my head what is the borbatus grim gonna look like what is the king taiji 2 gonna look like what are the creepers gonna look like you know um and we also did see a, a, a nevermore in the volume four uh character short as well so holy shit and i think this was a great life lesson too for yang because she was talking at the beginning she was like you can't run away from your problems and i think that's a good i think that's how she looks at it like especially with like when she's like you can't run away from your problems the, the character that's dynamic to yang that runs away from her problems more than anyone is blake so i feel like yang sees that as like you can't keep doing this that's probably a reason why she was upset and angry with blake running away instead of facing her troubles because yang is headstrong she is very stubborn well at least i feel like not anymore she's learned a bit more from her pep talk with 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 her dad and everything that she's gone through but Yang is very much a character who just runs in head, like, headstrong, like, head down and just running into all of her, like, blazing through all of her obstacles. And I feel like that's just who she is. So when she sees other people doing that, it upsets her because she knows that they're better than that. And, you know, she's, talks, she's talking to her sister like, oh, yeah, you, you know, you can just, you just have to, you know, face your obstacles head on. And um, I love the very ending, too. She was like, I've always got your back, sis. So I really do feel like it's reinforced that she might just be going to see her sister. Or, And obviously, Armed and Ready is a song that alludes to Yang. And she always mentions, she's like, I'm racing to her side. There's nothing that I won't do for her. I think that's basically an older sister relaying that she will do anything for her younger sister to keep her safe, to protect her. And I feel like if anything bad happened to, to Ruby all bets are off for yang like so um i really did appreciate how how that was handled at towards the very end but ultimately i i really liked the choreography i think the choreography was like the coolest thing i i, I was super scared i was like oh my gosh she's about to get chomped down by this grim and i completely like negated the fact of her semblance because her aura her aura like almost broke so i was just wondering i was like holy shit like i wasn't expecting her to use her semblance and then i was like oh yeah that's right she can just deal the damage back like twice as hard so love this character show it was a great teaser it was a great um like primer to get into like the canon stuff that we're going to be getting into now with volume five you know moving forward with the plot and everything but holy shit i loved it let me know what you guys thought in the comments thank you guys so much for watching um i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys for the reaction of ruby volume five chapter one take care